Hey guys, it's Jessica from Peace Out Books, and today I'm here with authors that I read this year for the first time that I am now obsessed with. I cannot believe I had never read them before. They are authors that I am so excited to explore more of their backlist or their future releases next year. Some of them are auto by authors now, some of them I'm definitely keeping an eye on, and I'm so excited. I have a very, very long list. So we will go ahead and chat about all these authors that I read for the first time that I just cannot stop thinking about. The first one actually has a book coming out on the 20th and I am so excited. That's like two days away from the day I'm filming this. Very excited. But that is Lulu Moore. She wrote The Third Baseman. I picked this up because it's baseball romance. I love baseball. I think more authors need to write baseball and absolutely love this. It is a second chance romance. It's kind of angsty. They haven't seen each other in a very long time and now he has orchestrated her to come work for his baseball team. She is like a type of engineer and she's really trying to help them find ways to just better the team and the players. And he has to grovel and make up for things that happened in the past and it was just a really great romance. I love that he's a baseball player. I cannot wait for the next book in the series so for sure reading her next release cannot wait. Then I have Ava Hunter. I don't remember where I put her book. I did recently-ish reorganize all my books so some of them I'm still having a hard time finding but I discovered Ava Hunter because I did a read-along with my friend Tori from Novel Life and we read her entire Nashville star series not nashville star it was a series all about this band and they were also a small town kind of and the spin-off book she wrote that she just released is also small town of the heroine from book four she actually had brothers that she went home to the like ranch for so the fourth book in the series is definitely small town and i really enjoy this she just gets better and better i think that this was actually her first series and i loved her new book i've read five books by her this year and i really enjoyed them so if you're in the mood for some band, if they're not rock stars, but they are musicians, but they're also really famous, or a small town on a ranch, check out Eva Hunter. Then I have Cassandra Robbins. I love her romances. They're definitely a spicy, taboo, fun time, specifically power, I really remember because it is a mom's fiance romance. And it was so fun. He was not necessarily in love with his fiance, but he could not keep his hands off her daughter. So, like I said, these are fun, spicy times. The next one's a taboo romance as well. And I know to turn to her if I'm looking for something just really fun. Then I have C.E. Ricky. This is an MM hockey romance, and this is the first time I read C.E. Ricky. I did get to meet her at the Chicago signing this past year, and I got another one River of Rain. I could not read that title on the side of that book. But I definitely have a lot more of hers on my TBR, but this one was really fun because it is a hockey romance where they are teammates and they just really hate each other and then they have a hookup before a game and they actually win. So they're like superstitious and like maybe we should just keep on hooking up so we keep on winning. They obviously start having real feelings for each other and it's really good. I really had fun reading this. This one was super hyped this year, but another author I have my eye on. We have a few small town romance authors I discovered because I was definitely reading so many small town romances, but Lena Hendricks is an author I discovered for the first time. I'm actually doing another video today where I'm talking about series I need to read next year, and one of hers is on there because I read this entire series so far. All the books that are out I've read. I didn't love, love the last one, but this one I gave four stars, the second one I gave five stars, and then the third one I gave three stars. So hopefully the next one, she just released the cover today and it's gorgeous. These are just really fun small town romances and I like the tropes that she uses. I love the family aspect. These very much have the small town vibes where they're always affected by like nosy neighbors or people knowing all of their business. So I had a lot of fun reading this. Lena Hendricks is definitely an author to keep your eye on next year, but definitely discovered the series, discovered her, and glad I did. The other one I am so obsessed with and I cannot wait for the next book in the series and that is Where We Started by Ashley Munoz. Ashley Munoz has definitely like shot up in an author I'm so impressed with. I read one of her small towns and I listened to it on audio and it was fine, but this one's a motorcycle romance and it is second chance. So you put two of my favorite tropes together. It's very motorcycle light, so it's not like a dark, dark romance. There's not a lot of what you normally see in MC romance, but she left the hero because of reasons and she's back and he is now the president of the motorcycle club that her dad ran before she left. So it's very 
very, very good. They have to reconnect and there's a little bit of danger happening, but like I said, not like dark danger, just like your average danger. But loved it, cannot wait to read way more from her in 2024. Then I also read a lot of hockey romances this year and Tal Bauer completely blew me out of the water with the rest of the story. I have two more of his books and I cannot wait to read them. I think he mostly writes sports romances, but they're MM. And this one was so emotional, like the found family and the underdog storyline in here was amazing. And people told me like all of his other books are amazing too. So obviously I'm very excited to continue getting into his backlist because this one made me tear up. I just like loved all the characters so much. This is a seasoned veteran player who is coming to a new team and a rookie on the team and they fall in love and they're trying to rebuild this team that is really, really damaged so good. I also have Avery Keelan. So I actually really liked The Enforcer. I read Offside and it was fine. I would like to read more from her because The Enforcer was really good. It was a second chance romance and she had to work with the hockey team because she was a trainer. They did date freshman year and never continued dating and now it's senior year and I just had a lot of fun reading this book and I could definitely see the potential with Avery Keelan's books. I didn't love Love Offside. It was a little bit long but I definitely want to check out more from her. We also have another billionaire slash small town romance romance author and that is Kat Singleton. Kat Singleton wrote Black Ties and White Lies which I thought was just a really fun time. This one's her ex-boyfriend's older brother and he basically makes it so she has to work for him and then he is like obsessed with her. It's a lot of fun but I really do like Kat's new small town romance series. I read the first book in that and it was really really sweet. It was a second chance romance and I have not read her new one yet but definitely intrigued and then I think she's writing another one of a billionaire romance coming after this one I'm pretty sure but she's also an author. I would definitely keep my eye on in 2024. One that's recent that this was just so fun and I can see the potential in her storytelling and that is Marie Maravilla and this one is a mafia romance and it was like a little over the top, a little cringy in some scenes but I was so addicted and it's mafia. She actually is like really high up in the mafia because she was kind of adopted by them and the heroes in an MC and so they have to work together and then there's a lot of action and suspense in here and it was so fun. I flew through this book. I definitely want to read book two which is a wide choose romance and then book three is coming out next year as well and I for sure want to pick it up but I'm excited that I read this and I found a new uh, mafia romance author to love. I also have Chloe Walsh. I love this book. I do have this on my list of series I need to read in 2024 because I need to finish this. I read this book I think like in March or April and absolutely loved it. It's very emotional. Our heroine she is from a very abusive household and she though was being bullied at her school and so her mom transfers her to this private school and the first day she gets like knocked in the head by a rugby ball by our hero who he definitely takes an interest in her and really wants to protect her and they start becoming friends and then they start falling for each other and he is dealing with a lot of pressure because he's a really 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 good rugby player but he has an injury that he's trying to work through not really in a healthy way and it's so good. I don't even remember how much happened in here since this is so long. I just remember like the gist but but definitely want to read Keeping 13 and then the next two books in the series before book five comes out. An author I'm for sure reading like anything she writes is Julie Soto. Forget Me Not was a second chance romance and it took place at weddings because we have a wedding planner heroine and a wedding florist hero and they have a past to be flashback from past to present. Teddy Hamilton is the narrator of this audiobook and it was everything and it was so good. I was obsessed. I vividly remember like sometimes I remember what I was doing when I was listening to audiobooks that I was obsessed with and I remember sitting doing a puzzle and I remember Remember exactly where I was driving in the car listening to this. It is so good. I was obsessed. I'm obsessed with them. I'm obsessed with the hero so much. He is tattooed and we have this big like wedding scene at the end that it was all leading up to and a wedding they're both working on and I cannot recommend this enough. I just, I'm obsessed with her and this book. She does have fan fiction that I'm going to go read because I need more from her. I don't even think they've announced her next book but... I love. This author I technically didn't read for the first time this year, but I definitely delved into her backlist. I think I read her for the first time last year. And that is Nora Roberts. I'm actually in the middle of two Nora Roberts books right now, and I've read, I read Black Hills, The Obsession, and The Witness so far. I'm in sh reading Sheltered in Place and The Reef right now, but I read her historical last year, Rebellion. So I have read quite a few Nora Roberts books this year, and they are really good. She writes romantic suspense. Some of them are definitely a lot more heavy on the suspense in the plot than the 
romance, but this one has been my favorite so far. She has an animal sanctuary, and it's a second chance romance, and someone sabotaging her sanctuary. There are animal deaths in here, so definitely be aware of that, but a lot of hers deal with some, like, pretty tragic stuff, so Shelter in Place has to deal with a mass shooting that took place in the beginning, and then someone's picking off the survivors of the mass shooting, and I'm halfway through that, and it's really good, but The Witness and The Obsession were the other two that I read that I really enjoyed. I think I like The Obsession better than The Witness, but... I really enjoy her and I'm excited to read more of her in 2024. We also have Emily Rath. I read Pucking Around and this is so good and I did get the second book from her. I ordered it when I went to Steamy Lit but she couldn't get them in time so it finally came in the mail like a week ago. So very excited to read book two but this is a Why Choose Hockey romance that is just so good. She develops the individual relationships so well and like the group dynamics so well. The heroine is the trainer for the team and she falls for two of the hockey players and then the equipment manager of the team. So good. I was obsessed. Even though it's long, it didn't feel that long. It was amazing. I loved it so much. And then another Why Choose author is Elizabeth Helen. I read the first book in their Beauty and the Beast retelling series. The heroine's dad is trying to find clues about what happened to her mom and he ends up being kidnapped at this castle and she goes to help him and trades her life for his and she falls for the four princes that are living there that are all cursed to turn into beasts and they need to find their true love and she says she's going to help them. Obviously it's going to be her but this one is a lot of fun so I'm very excited to read more from them. I also have another Why Choose author which is Penelope Black. I read Wolf, which is a mafia dark, kind of dark, well, I guess dark, why choose romance, and it definitely started out a bit all like, mm, I don't know how I feel about this, like very cheesy, but once I got into it, like it got like very kind of messy, but very entertaining as we understood like the heroine developing different relationships and having different paths with different heroes and then like figuring out the connections and then they're being like, what the heck? Because one of them I think is her new stepbrother or her mom's fiance son, so he's like about to be a stepbrother, but it was a lot of fun. I listened on audio and I can't wait to finish the series. I also have another hockey romance which is GN Wright. I loved The Puck Secret. Like the way I was obsessed with this and I didn't even go in thinking I was gonna be obsessed. I had just downloaded it. I don't even know why I downloaded it on KU and I asked my patrons. I was like here's five books I have on KU. Which one should I read? And this one won and I was like okay cool like a hockey romance. It was so good. It was so angsty. The hero hates the heroine. He is on the hockey team with her brother. They are texting and they don't know they're texting each other because it was a wrong number situation and falling in love through text and hooking up hatefully in real life and I loved this so much. So definitely going to keep an eye out for GN Wright next year. I also have Anita Kelly. I read Something Wild and Wonderful and I am obsessed. It is an MM romance that takes place on the Pacific Coast Trail and it's very emotional and they just fall in love finding themselves and I read this in a day. Couldn't put it down. I cried and Anita Kelly has a new sapphic romance coming out next year that is for sure at the top of my TBR. I'm pretty sure I downloaded it from NetGalley already but I cannot wait to read more from Anita Kelly, especially if I'm going to cry like I did in this one because you're my babies and I'm obsessed with this book. And the last author I have is Jillian Meadows. I read Wreck My Plans at the end of November, I think, and it is a Christmas romance and I loved it. I know there's been some mixed reviews, but I read it as an arc, so I didn't have any expectations and I was obsessed. It's definitely angsty. They tell each other that they don't see each other as more because it's her brother's best friend and something happened a few years ago where the hero kind of just like freaked out and left and hasn't been back since. She's not supposed to be home for Christmas but she decides to because she gets laid off and he's there and had taken her spot in her room and so now one of them has to sleep on the couch and they have to do a lot together and they fall in love and it's so good. I do have Give Me Butterflies by Jillian as well. She did send that paperback to me that I'm really really excited to get to. I've read about like 60 pages of it and I'm really enjoying it so I'm excited to see what else Jillian Meadows writes next. That was a pretty long list, but those are all of the authors that I've discovered this year that I am so excited that I've read and that I cannot wait to read more from. Let me know if you've read these authors and who your favorites are and what authors you discovered this year for the first time that you cannot wait to read more of. I would love to hear and that's all I have. As always, thanks so much for watching and have a good day.